The President, please be seated. The court is now in session. Nous reprenons l'audience. According to our schedule and the notification made yesterday, in today's session uh, we are going to proceed to hear the statement of the accused concerning his character, de, du, de the questions de that will be put uh, by the parties. Les parties the security les personnel les are now instructed to bring the accused to the dock. The Chamber would like to now give the floor to the co-prosecutors to put questions to the accused concerning his character. The co-prosecutors will have one hour and 15 minutes to do so. Good morning, Mr. President. Good morning, Monsieur Chambers. Uh, good morning, Council. And good morning, Mr. Kangoo. Uh, this is the last time that the prosecution will be questioning you in this case. And so we'd like to thank you in advance for agreeing to answer the questions today. And thirdly, we'd like to ask you to be as focused on the questions as possible and as brief as possible if you can. We've got a number of topics to cover and we would like to finish them uh, within the hour. And the last point before we start, perhaps if we can agree that if you try and open your mind as much as you can as to who you were back 30 years ago at S21, so that you can assist the chamber, continue to assist the chamber in trying to ascertain the truth in your role and in what happened at S21. So firstly, I'd like to follow up with some questions from Judge Laverne yesterday, where he was discussing, or the day before, he was discussing the idea of family, and he was discussing the decisions that you made in relation to forming a family whilst you were working at S21. In response to his questions, he said, you said, my children were children of Ankar, which were raised to serve the revolution. That was my notion at the time. You then went on to say, and correct me if I'm wrong, but mentally I preferred the whole family loved or were involved in the revolution. So, my question to you is, uh, was it your intention that, that your wife and your children would participate in the revolution, and was it your will at the time that your wife and your children, albeit that they were born whilst you were at S21, that they be a part of the revolution and believe in it? The accused. Réponse. First, I still mentioned about the theory, and I still stand by the statement as I already indicated uh, to Judge Lavergne. Je ne ce que j'ai dit au juge Lavergne concernant les principes en vigueur à l'époque. I joined the revolution. I would 
like my parents to love the revolution and that one day they too joined the revolution and I wanted my siblings to love the revolution and I, dream, I wished uh, one day they would uh, uh, love the revolution and join it and to the best of my honesty I was the cadre of the democratic Cambodia and I had no right to get married with any people who were evacuated or I had no right to get married to the 17th of April people people who were evacuated from Phnom Penh I would like to reiterate that in 1968 so the CPK and I really loved the person in Kampung Tralai. I got married with the person who came from Kampung Tralai and my subordinates were also recruited from Kampung Tralai. And even Chun Pao was uh, the guy who was uh, raised in Kampung Tralai. And when the Kampong children Tralai. were born, they were the children nés, of Anka. And uh, let's make it clear, it doesn't mean that uh, the children of Anka had to report on the parents to Anka, but uh, they had uh, as the communist uh, ideology is that they had to be faithful to Ankara. Did you want your children, Question. the children that were born at S21, did you want them to be a part of the revolution, yes or no? Response. Everyone wanted uh, the better future of their children. So any revolutionary wished uh, their children to love the revolution and to join in the revolution. And uh, to what the people would view about uh, the revolution at that time was another story. So you wanted your children Question. that were born Vous during your time period at S21 to be a part of the communist revolution. Uh, Is that correct? La exact. Response. S21 was part of the work of the revolution. So I did not aim that my children uh, would become the police as his Et father would have been. But uh, we would like him to be part in the revolutionary line. Thank you. You're you got married in you met your wife in 1974 and you got married in December 75. You had your first daughter on the 27th of April 1977, and you had your first son on the 14th of December 1978. So during that period, you obviously believed in aspects of the revolution. You may not have agreed, perhaps with some of the way in which it was being carried out, but you believed in the revolution, you believed that what you were doing at S21 was a means to an end. It was a way in which you and others could achieve the communist revolution and create this new society as you had planned. Is that correct? Response. I have 
already repeatedly indicated in relation to this matter. Sur ce point, je me suis déjà exprimé à nombreuses reprises. To the 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 revolution notion, I think uh, I actually did not really like uh, the police work. Moi, je n'aimais pas However, vraiment ce travail de policier, mais or amongst the candidate uh, members j'étais membre or the members of the party who had uh, nowhere to escape uh, so i already indicated that uh, uh, we were the actors in the, of the crimes que, uh, and trapped uh, in the system as uh, mr et pris au piège du système raoul jena already Comme mentioned that uh, Jena, i should have said that uh, i was the servant uh, of the regime le serviteur du régime and uh, Madame Sironi Gilbo already Gilbo stated that uh, I was part of the gear of the machine, machinery. Du And I would like uh, my children to be part in the revolution. Je que mes but uh, I, I, did, I, although I know, I knew that uh, it was part of crimes, but I could not escape. I never envisaged that uh, si CPK would uh, be defeated uh, any day. So is it fair to say <coughs> that you believed in what you were doing, you believed in the revolution, but you just didn't like the idea of killing and torturing, would that be fair to say? Est-ce que cette affirmation est exacte? Tu me pas ça. Response. Réponse. I think these issues cannot be separated. They are very interrelated. Uh, Before 1971, before I received the task as the police, I really trusted the party. However, later on, when I had learned that people had been executed, I started to feel suspicious. And, uh, and uh, I started to realize that uh, uh, this is the way that the revolution would uh, be leading to, uh, slowly but surely, but I really don't expect that the execution could take place. Lentement, mais j'ai compris la voie dans laquelle nous étions engagés. Why would you bring Question. our children into a world Pourquoi where you believed that Enfanté crimes were going to be committed and where you believe that possibly you might be implicated in the regime and if you were implicated, your family would be implicated. Why would you bring children into the world if, if in fact you believe that would happen to you? The President, le président uh, Mr. François Roux, Maître you may now proceed. Monsieur le Président, pardonnez-moi, je trouve que c'est une question uh, un Mr. peu limite president, et qui touche à l'intime. I think that this is a borderline question, which is of a, a nearly intimate nature, and I do not think that it has its place in this debate to ask someone why uh, they procreate. Please excuse me, but this is... Uh, uh, um, in Monsieur infringing on privacy. Uh, la uh, and I would ask that the prosecutor perhaps reword his question. I'm not quite sure I understand the, uh, the basis of that objection. However, Your Honor, um, I can put the question in another way. Um, whilst you're at S21, you felt secure enough in your own safety that you would not be implicated, de ne pas être mis en cause, otherwise car you would not have had children. Vous pas eu Is that correct? Pas? Response.
regarding the implication I think uh, it is more about the assumption rather than the reality how could we conclude uh, the situation uh, whether I would be implicated uh, during my work at S21 but uh, in reality my soul was at the tip of my hair or I, I was in fear anyway my brother-in-law was arrested and sent to live with me and another brother-in-law also was arrested and my superior Von Wade, Koi Tuon and other close friends of mine who were the head of the zones were also arrested so I could not envisage uh, when exactly I would too be implicated in the confessions of the people arrested because I noted that some already implicated uh, Son Sen. So uh, he too could probably envisage that he would be implicated. Uh, my wife was removed uh, from the hospital and uh, as uh, I really wanted to have children, Et so if I did not die, then I could uh, really build a family. And si if uh, we died, we pas, died. Uh, our family, family altogether si would have uh, been executed. Si, uh, so à mourir, toute ma famille, uh, if I died, uh, everyone in my family si would also mourir, die. Aussi. You said that um, you were trapped. Question. Uh, in the Khmer Rouge regime, but let's, let's be clear, at the end everyone was trapped. I mean, Von Vett was on the standing committee, uh, Sun Sen, you say, was implicated. Everyone in the regime, including Pol Pot, was subject to being implicated and subject to being taken into S21. Do you agree with that? Response. Réponse. People who were not implicated uh, were respected. Les gens qui pas mis there were Pol Pot and Nguyen They were not Nunchir. implicated in the confessions. Sao Pum was implicated and ex uh, died. Tamok, Tamok, the fourth individual was also implicated ah, but no cause. one would dare to arrest Mais him. Ian Sari was not implicated. The sixth person was implicated and died. The seventh individual, Son Sen, was also ah, implicated in several confessions. Kyo Sompon, probably the eighth individual or person was not uh, implicated. So it is about cause. the implication. Uh, donc, and this is uh, what I can recall. Voilà ce dont je me so I have no idea who else would have been Pour implicated. Part, je ne sais pas qui a pu être impliqué. Mis en cause Perhaps if we can go to some of the Question. traits that you displayed at S21 and, and one of those uh, was perhaps, and it's been seen through the evidence, is your, your will and desire to, to accept the job and the pride, the pride that you displayed at S21 when carrying out your job. Would you agree with me that the education and training role you had at S21 was the largest role that you've ever had in your career, and it was a valuable role to you because it related to training and teaching in ideological indoctrination, not just maths, but something that actually changed people's lives, changed society. And that, that aspect of it, and the fact that you were in charge of the central interrogation center at S21, Aussi, that made you feel good, au centre that made you feel proud, S21, et vous and it was a very big opportunity for you, a man with a lot of ambition. Vous, pour vous, Would you agree with me 
that when you first took on the job at S21, you were proud about that fact. Response. Honestly, I was not proud non, to be pas fier accepting the assignment at S21. Nomination à S21. I was there at the beginning as the deputy Au chairman. Début, en étais le directeur adjoint. It, on the third. On, on March 1976, en mars 1976, when NAD was Nata removed and I was promoted to the chairman position, and I contest or I challenged the position, I would like Chai Kum Ho to uh, take the position. However, I was warned by my superior. So this shows that I was not proud about that. The remaining documents can also be sought uh, to support these arguments because the document uh, under E5-2 from point 1 to point 8 uh, are the documents uh, uh, during the time when that was uh, in position and what annotations or, or writing I made uh, in relation to those documents and what kind of writing I um, wrote uh, later on, you may refer to them that I was not proud uh, about uh, being offered such position. Coming to the education. I would like to put uh, some particular examples to you. So perhaps Je if you can wait, wait for that moment to explain um, about whether you are proud in your role as an educator, maybe, maybe the word is not proud. Isn't it the fact that you, were, you felt satisfied? You felt satisfied that you got the position because you felt that you were better than that. You were, you were a better interrogator. You were a better educator. And therefore, you felt that that position was more rightfully yours than Nat's. Would you agree that you were satisfied of that fact? Would you agree that you were satisfied of that fact? Would you agree that you were satisfied of that fact? Response. Response. It is not. Correct to say that non, uh, I vrai. was satisfied, uh, but it would be better correct if you put it this way that I was good at pleasing my superior. Although Nat was my bon, superior at that time, he was his theory was not that good as mine. So I had uh, the ability to please uh, others better than Nat. And the fact that you had the ability to please others better than that, namely pleasing your superiors, that made you feel good because you were ambitious and you were working together with the highest level CPK leaders in the country. That made you feel good. Do you agree? Response. Response. Your assumption is entirely accurate. Oui, c'est exact. But uh, you should also look at the other aspects of the situation because I frequently or uh, regularly made uh, phone calls to my superior je, every evening. Uh, so if uh, he, he ordered me to do anything, then I had to fulfill his orders. Des so que je please me balance this. Donc là, il faut mettre les deux en balance. We understand that Question. you and everyone else in the Khmer Rouge period was euh, working under a system of orders but the question is, of course, is whether or not people wanted to deliver those orders or whether they objected, objected to them. 
but we'll discuss that in a moment. But perhaps I would like to put a quote to you that um, Judge Cartwright put to you in testimony the other day, and she quoted from uh, David Chandler's book, and she stated, she summarized the book, you wanted to excel at your job at S21. You thought you were doing an excellent job. You wanted to excel right throughout the, your career, from the time you were a student. You wanted to serve your superiors with enthusiasm and skill, and you wanted to be proud of your work. Is that a fair assessment of your character? And you responded, Your Honor, talking about wanting to be in that role, indeed, yes. But I do not want to say the reason for my wanting to be such a person at this stage. So bearing in mind what you've said earlier, isn't it the case that when you first started at S21, as you have said to Judge Cartwright, you wanted to be in that role? Things may have changed later. Things may have changed later in 1978 when your superiors and friends were being arrested. But when you started at S21, as you've said, you wanted that role. Can you explain why you wanted that role? So, response. Mr. Co-Prosecutor. Réponse. Monsieur le Co-Procureur, question is difficult for me to respond. Il m'est difficile de répondre à votre question. Because through the layers of interpretation, car étant donné les différents degrés d'interprétation dans la transcription en cas en langue khmer, in English. I do not know how to English from the English transcripts. And I now listen to the interpretation in Khmer. And now I think it would be appropriate if we look at my personal transcript before the chamber and if we could put the issue before the chamber for confrontation en langue Khmer avant de pouvoir aborder cette question plus avant. I'm not sure whether there is a translation problem. However, we can Question. discuss the matter in another way. Judge Cartwright also put to you another quote. She said, you are intelligent, well-educated, you work hard, and you were enthusiastic. You would like to please your superiors. You wish to be professional in everything you do. You are meticulous in your work. Pay attention to detail. You are proud of the work that you have done. Is that a fair summary? And you responded, I do not object to that statement. Vous avez répondu à ce, what aspects cela, of your work S21 made you proud? Pas cela. Fin de citation. Quel aspect de votre travail à S21 um, provoquait en vous ce sentiment de fierté? The word pride, uh, being proud, has been discussed extensively previously, and also you agreed not to use that word. We agreed to use the word that, that, word that, word that I tried to carry my duties in order to satisfy my superiors and agreed on that. Mais so I would like to make a conclusion that within my cela. capability Par conséquent, et en conclusion, in using force, dire kicking, beating, for instance, I did not have that qualification, de mes but equipping someone with education, force, with nomination and theory, uh, yes, I was capable que to do that. that. Moi, mon First, to satisfy my superior, à and once my superior was satisfied, I would be spared. And Une I did not push myself moi, a promotion into the central committee. So this is not a pride. Et it is the endeavor on my part to satisfy my superior so that I could live and see the sun. De, uh, that is all. Mes de à me de survivre. 
The word tout. pride is a word that, in fact, you, Question, you have used throughout this trial. Le terme fierté est un terme que vous avez utilisé à maintes reprises au cours de ce procès. Vous avez dit que vous étiez fier lorsque vous avez découvert you said that you seem to be a bit proud when you were speaking on the microphone at your training sessions. sessions you also said vous avez that when you met Pol Pot que lorsque vous avez rencontré Pol in the last Pot, half of 1978, you also said that he made you feel good. And perhaps, if I can quote what you have said to this chamber, Et vous avez dit, you et mentioned vous earlier that some I questioned you, and you answered. Uh, the question was, you mentioned earlier that some party members would be jealous if other party members met Pol Pot. Did you consider it a privilege to be in Pol Pot's presence Pol Pot at these meetings? Et, uh, et La question était la suivante, est-il vous fier d'avoir rencontré Paul Pot lors de ces like réunions that, Et vous avez répondu time, à cela, je voudrais vous dire qu'à l'époque, j'avais un sentiment, je travaillais dans un sentiment étrange à savoir que now. Je, and I meet the first person uh, in the party for the first time. Uh, je, je and I had a very strange feeling. But it's hard to describe that feeling at the time. I asked you, did it make you feel good? Et to be in his presence, que, euh, en sa présence and you said the strange feelings mean, et you know, vous avez dit, the good feeling. Euh, dire, en fait, so, que, là my question euh, is, bon sentiment, sentiment why agréable. are you feeling Ma good est la suivante. Donc, in the last half of 1978, when you believed, or you have told the court that you felt 78, the regime had Alors que got out of control, que le régime, that um, you didn't believe in the revolution anymore, était, uh, that you hated your job, était un, that un you were in fear of your life. Um, how can you feel good en, en ayant peur de when you meet the Comment person that uh, you believe agréable, que with others is making all of this happen? Que, uh, can you explain that, please? Tout ce, uh, étant donné tout ce qui se passait, autour de vous à ce moment-là. Pouvez-vous expliquer cela Réponse, Mr. Co-Prosecutor. Monsieur le co-procureur, your question is long. Votre question, but to sum up with, it would be on the day that I attended a training where Pol Pot delivered his speech. Lorsque j'ai Every year, ça, I did not attend the meeting with Pol Pot. It was always with Sun Sen, but only that year when soldiers were sent to the journée. front, Mais and Sun Sen did not open the training in Phnom Penh, so Sen Sen I attended with other combat. people Sen Sen whereby Pol Pot pas, euh, Pol Pot allé au front, front Sen 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 n'était pas à Phnom Penh à ce moment-là, et c'est Pol Pot so qui a mené les débats lors de cette session de formation. With only On pourrait résumer, moi je n'étais pas hundreds. là seulement Pol Pot avec sept personnes assistant à cette réunion, il s'agissait là, il y avait des centaines de personnes, il y avait uh, Pol Pot, il y avait Nunchia, il y avait des centaines de présents dans l'assistance. Ce jour-là, ce qui provoquait en moi un sentiment d'empreinte d'enthousiasme était que person, je participais, j'assistais à une formation, non pas Paul avec Paul le numéro 7 du parti, mais avec le numéro 1 du parti. Et Paul Pot and that was absolute. Stop ne interrogating people. permettait pas d'interrogatoire. Il a dit qu'il fallait arrêter. Uh, were those who stopped and là, who stayed in the forest. So if they were fed, there would be no longer no bandits. And I was happy with that statement because there was a previous circular on the people who attended the CIA and were jailed uh, in 1979. Uh, and I was happy with such statement. So when I returned from the training, I did not ask people on that because that was the speech by Pol Pot. And I was happy with such statement. Ressenti ce sentiment de satisfaction étant donné la teneur and de ce discours Nunchi de Pol Pot. Later, et Nunchia m'a dit, dit plus tard que Duke, maintenant, je cite, me connaissait mieux.
mieux la ligne But du parti. Mais à ce moment-là, je pensais que c'était ici la fin des interrogatoires. Et c'est ce qui a remporté en moi un sentiment de satisfaction. Et tel était mon sentiment à l'époque, M. Kropokova. Question, à l'époque, vous aviez la foi en la révolution communiste. Vous aviez toujours la conviction que la révolution allait réussir. Et c'est pour cette raison-là que vous étiez satisfait de rencontrer le leader de la révolution, le numéro un de la révolution. Réponse. Il s'agit là d'une question différente de celle portant sur la participation aux formations et celle portant sur de rencontres à part Nunchia pas so you had to separate the matter between attending the training and meeting with the leaders. Euh, le, I never met those Pot, leaders besides the, one, the ones that I just mentioned. À part ceux dont je viens de euh, ceux que je viens de citer, je n'ai pas rencontré d'autres dirigeants du parti. Question. À la fin de 1978, vous aviez toujours foi dans les yes idéaux no. de la révolution communiste. Oui ou non? Response. Uh, réponse. Mr. Co -prosecutor. Monsieur le coprocureur. The matter of believing something or not. La question d'avoir foi I ou non. I told you already chose. in the past. Believed. Bien comme je vous l'ai dit précédemment, is la conviction in its nature, in est myself, un phénomène cumulatif par nature. The ideal. Je n'avais pas conviction dans l'idéal. Mais d'autre part, je, je, by Pol Pot il y avait about stopping le fait que cela n'allait pas réussir. Et lorsque uh, Pol Pot m'a dit que a dit qu'il fallait arrêter But les interrogatoires, moi je ressentis un sentiment de satisfaction. Mais si j'avais euh, entendu euh, autre chose ou d'autres aspects, j'aurais été déçu. Et c'était la situation telle qu'elle était à l'époque. Et c'est um, ainsi que nous étions formés. Le président, le président Maître Roux, vous souhaitez intervenir, je vous en prie. Monsieur le Président, pardonnez-moi d'intervenir à nouveau. Pourrais-je inviter again, mon confrère like to à poser des questions et non pas à poser des affirmations Au lieu de dire à l'accusé « Vous aviez Instead foi en la révolution, accused, oui ou non ?» Une question, yes c'est « Monsieur, aviez-vous foi en la révolution ?» Et ça fait plusieurs questions que vous présentez d'abord comme « Votre idée ?» Et vous demandez à l'accusé de valider votre idée. Soyez gentil, posez-lui les questions, mais ne demandez pas de valider vos idées. Ça s'appelle des questions fermées, et je crois savoir que dans votre système, ça n'est pas acceptable. Réponse. Monsieur le Président, Dit le si je peux me permettre de répondre à cette observation, il s'agissait là de questions. Ces questions permettaient à l'accusé d'y répondre par oui ou de d'y répondre et de susciter une réponse. Il s'agissait là de questions ouvertes et je dirais qu'il est tout à fait séant. Et c'est ce que je propose, um, que des questions par euh, oui ou par non euh, servent la finalité euh, qui est euh, de contribuer à la manifestation de la vérité dans cette procédure.
The president, le président. The chamber has noticed that it is difficult in dealing with the questions to be put by the prosecutor because the questions are long. Les questions posées par les coprocureurs and we have noticed the objections raised by the defense counsel on two occasions already. And from what we have noticed, these are leading questions. Therefore, the co-prosecutor, you are instructed to rephrase your questions, simplify them for appropriate response. Therefore, it's better for you to ask several more questions rather than a few long questions. Nous vous invitons euh, en particulier à Thank éviter your, your honors, les um, questions longues de par leur nature. Le coprocureur international, During this trial, you have, je have prends note de vos remarques, Monsieur le Président. The efforts that you went to in order to ensure that your interrogations question. led to the implications of enemies. You have explained that you would get innocent young men. You would indoctrinate them. You would educate them. You would train them in torture methods. You would dare them to be cruel to such a point that the confessions would produce names of enemies of which most of them you knew to be false. You forwarded them to your superiors. When those names were forwarded, you've testified that your requests for arrest were always approved and those innocent people were subsequently arrested and killed. Par la would it be suite, fair to say, would it be fair to say that you exercise your power at S21 vous avez to the maximum vos à when S21, you were the chairperson there? Au maximum pendant la période où S21 était sous votre direction. Response. Réponse. Mr. Co-Prosecutor, Monsieur le Co-Procureur, before you put a question to me, you describe the works that I did using additives at your own will, which are not the additives I used in my statement. Therefore, I would like to make my statement clear now. Par conséquent, j'aimerais préciser ma déclaration à présent. The poor peasants' Ma children de recruiter to educate them to because of their de class stance of their royalty, and that they are not influenced by any other factors. Étant donné le fait qu'ils n'étaient pas influencés par d'autres facteurs, par exemple, Chumpal en est un exemple. And when they arrived, I would assign par them exemple, the duties. Chumpal, for example, the guarding duty, est, uh, the interrogation un, un, un duty, évocateur à ce sujet là. Etc. Ensuite, pour ce qui est de, des obligations, des tâches dont les so personnes devaient s'acquitter, je devais les former dans ce domaine-là. Telle était la past. pratique. Et c'est ce que j'ai précédemment décrit. Pour ce qui est des aveux, j'ai à maintes reprises déclaré that my crimes que les crimes were que not that I directly executed those people, but it was my crimes that I built those people up to interrogate. And if I built ten people who were loyal to the party and who were meticulous with the same times that the work that I did, then the crimes would be more widespread. And that was my crimes. Eh bien, les crimes seraient Another plus, crimes auraient une portée plus I importante, avaient une portée plus importante. Par ailleurs, le crime que j'ai commis a été formé dans le domaine de l'opposition de classe, avec ma notion de classe, et je les ai endoctrinés avec mes propres idées, avec selon mes propres méthodologies. Et c'est ce que je voulais que ce personne accepte. Et c'est ce qui s'est passé 
pour euh, la, la formation dans le domaine de la procédure d'interrogatoire. Question, et je vais vous lire une déclaration que vous avez faite. It's a statement that you made in relation to the starts that you took when you were at S21. And you stated at S21, I evaded work to the maximum. I accepted only the work that was unavoidable. I thus never grasped anything. Would you agree with me that with the evidence that you've given at this trial? That you misled the co-investigating judges by saying that I evaded work to the minimum. Would you agree with me at the time? Is it true that you misled the investigating judges as to your role at S21 when you made that statement? Would you agree with me? Response, uh, réponse, Mr. Co -prosecutor. Monsieur le co-procureur. Seriez-vous en mesure de montrer cette déclaration en langue de Khmer et montrer à la Chambre la transcription de euh, mes propos de manière à ce que nous puissions et de manière à ce que je puisse les la consulter. Question. Je vais citer plus simplement cette déclaration à S21. Je ce que vous avez dit devant les coaches d'instruction. Je me soustrayais au travail. J'ai évité de travailler au maximum et J'essayais de me de ne pas travailler. Réponse. Je n'ai pas bien compris la déclaration. Je n'arrive pas à en avoir une compréhension globale. Monsieur le procureur, j'aurais besoin de consulter ces documents. Question, Madame et Messieurs okay, les juges, je, je m'en remets à vous. Le Président, Maître Karsavout, vous souhaitez intervenir, je vous en prie. Maître Karsavout, Monsieur le Président, je souhaiterais demander au que, que l'on puisse demander au co-procureur international qu'il pose instance, des questions précises à l'accusé. Par exemple, si client has not confessed fully to his activities, then you can pinpoint which actions or activities that he has not yet confessed. And then you can provide a statement, the excerpt of the statement he made before the co-investigating judges. The President, the co-prosecutor, if you relied on the statements made by the accused before the co-investigating judges, can you clearly state which language of that statement Statement. And can you sur des déclarations de l'accusé, pouvez-vous nous préciser on what page le paragraphe, what le numéro de la page, e number, la cote so ERN, la référence précise du document en question sur lequel vous basez votre question de manière à ce que nous puissions faire en sorte que soit so affiché cette, uh, le paragraphe dont il est question dans votre question de chamber, manière à ce que uh, l'accusé puisse répondre à votre question. Nous vous rappelons qu'il s'agit là statements made during the investigation phase is just part of the case file. So the statements la phase de l'instruction fait partie des documents versés au dossier de la procédure. By the accused has been stated so, and he made several comments on his statements before the co-investigating judges. faites par l'accusé devant les co-juges d'instruction. So I think. Et it could be different 
relying on the documents during his investigation because during the trial phases he made additional comments to those uh, statements that he made car au cours de la previously phase before the court uh, investigation. A devant les so it would be better uh, if you can provide the excerpt of portion of the documents nous that you rely upon nous so that the chamber la is able to sur vous have it shown vos before the chamber and that the accused has the capability et to de review it and to respond appropriately. Thank you, Your Honours. Uh, perhaps I will move on from that, but I will give the, the ERN number Question. of 0014 for the Chamber. Uh, Question. Question. D21 in the English. And, um, Il s'agit du document à la, que la figurant la cote D21, euh, euh, dont le, la cote REN est la suivante 00114-9918. Mais je vais passer à la question suivante the, à présent. The time that you were at N13, pendant la période où vous étiez à N13, pendant la période où vous étiez à S21, et pendant la période où, où court, vous, vous étiez toujours prisonnier du régime, that you are not a prisoner régime. of the Khmer Rouge regime anymore. What year, please? Pouvez vous nous dire en quelle année vous n'étiez plus euh, prisonnier du régime Khmer Rouge? Pouvez vous nous dire en, selon vous en quelle année cela a eu lieu? Response. It was on the tenth. C'était le 10 of May 1999. At that time, the government me at le gouvernement m'a placé et, euh, de, et dans le, le cadre Prior du tribunal militaire. Question. Avant 1999, est-ce que vous free free liberté de mouvement Est-ce que vous étiez libre de mouvement Est-ce que vous pouviez aller en dehors de la zone sous contrôle Khmer Rouge Réponse. Avant 1999, vous, connaissez, vous avez déjà connaissance de la situation telle qu'elle était à l'époque. In around 1997, Fuite, but that was the concern that I have had at the time. De la the Mok was a Khmer Rouge. Cependant, j'aurais pris ce risque à l'époque. That's Tamok why I un said the criminal regime of against the humanity contre ended when the Mok was arrested by Hun Sen and detained at the Tamok military court. Tamok a été arrêté par Hun Sen et détenu au tribunal so militaire. Question. For about 26 or 27 years, from 1971, that you had no possibility in all of those years to escape from the Khmer Rouge. Is that what you're saying? Khmer Rouge. Est-ce que c'est ce que vous êtes en train de dire? The accused. Could you please uh, make a proper mathematical calculation? Pouvez-vous vérifier vos calculs yes, mathématiques? Yes, I think so. The, the, the duration is uh, correct. I was oh. and uh, the detention of the Khmer Rouge regime, although it was in various different forms. Détenu sous différentes formes. The co-prosecutor already sous différentes knows. Différentes formes du régime Khmer Rouge. Les coprocureurs. I Move. Oh, I stepped a little bit out of the proper way, and my wife si je was killed. Un petit peu du chemin, euh, eh bien, que je me suis écarté un petit peu du chemin, Is et ma femme a trouvé la mort. Question. Up until the 90s, pas vrai que because you still believed in it. Euh, au sein du régime Khmer Rouge jusqu'aux années 90, jusqu'à la fin mm. des années 90, parce que vous aviez foi 
Et vous aviez Response. toujours foi dans le régime Khmer Rouge. Réponse. I think it's, 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 it's kind of appropriate if you say it. Et vous pouvez dire que si vous dites les choses comme ça, vous pouvez imaginer que cela est totalement pertinent. Je ne crois pas dans leur idée à la bataille. Vous pouvez demander au front. Vous pouvez demander au gouverneur du district de demander au gouverneur du district de Saint-Paul de vouloir que je travaille à l'unité de transport et par la suite de l'enseignement à l'école primaire et j'ai accepté cette fonction. Et je suis resté avec eux en personne. Mais quels que soient les services pour donner aux batailles ou pour tuer les gens, je ne suis pas allé au combat. J'ai refusé so de demander de visant ce que je tue des gens et je refusais de demander de participer visant ce que je participe à des tueries ou à ce que j'aille au combat. Au psychologue, vous avez parlé du décès de votre père et vous avez dit dans leur rapport, parlant du décès de votre père en 1990, vous avez dit que je ne peux pas être un révolutionnaire et vous avez dit que je ne peux pas être un révolutionnaire et en même temps éprouver des sentiments de fiction. Si c'est vrai, est-ce que vous n'étiez pas encore un révolutionnaire en 1990 Est-ce que vous ne croyez pas encore aux Khmer Rouge en 1990 Et n'est-ce pas pour cette raison que vous étiez encore avec les Khmer Rouge en 1990 Have taken me by surprise. Je crois que sur ce plan, les psychologues m'ont pris par surprise. And it is now the matter that I am uh, not uh, in agreement uh, with the assumption or by the experts. Un point de anyway, so you avec should uh, je ne suis pas be familiar with this. Faut vous le sachiez. Many of the experts that Question. have uh, reviewed. The documents in the case, especially the documents S21, David Chandler, and also the psychologist, have stated that the reason why you obeyed the orders was not only out of fear of not obeying them, but because you believed in the underlying basis of them. And if I can put to you. A section of the report ici, je from the psychologist, and it states dans obedience was not the motiva motivation for his acts, but a consequence thereof, because he needed something, he needed something in which to believe. De, chose also, en he was driven by fear, aussi, uh, in brackets, in uh, 1977, uh, par la peur, and by the idea uh, that he was better off continuing in his job rather than walking away from it. Isn't it the case that you carried out the orders at S21 because you believed in the revolution, not just because you were ordered to carry them out? Response. Mr. Co-Prosecutor, I would like to Monsieur le co state that uh, the analysis of the expert is another case, and uh, in reality, what I have experienced is another et, et case. I would like to tell you the reality and things that I have done. Passé, and I believe that the documents remain, document documents of S21 remain, so you may refer to S21 them. And I utiles. did everything, fait tout ce que pu. Uh, not at will. Non pas par upon the propre, orders of my superior, because every day uh, the Chaque confessions jour, uh, would have to be reported to Son Sen, and uh, I was closely 
monitored whether or not I whether I like it or not. I had to do, otherwise I would be killed. And uh, this is just the reality as opposed to the analysis by the expert. Par opposition à ce que peuvent dire les experts. Um, Question. Je vais vous poser quelques questions au sujet de votre arrestation. You stated, uh, in court devant la um, cour, vous avez dit que vous étiez préparé pour obtenir une promotion pour être le chef de l'éducation du département de Samla District, que essentiellement votre avenir a été changé par Nick Dunlop. Vous avez dit que tout a été Everything was compromised when Nick Dunlop found me, and later I was arrested and put onto detention at the military court on the 10th of May 1999. My question is, if it wasn't for Nick Dunlop approaching you, showing you the photograph of you at S21, and you knowing the fact that he knew of your role there, you wouldn't be in this court today. Si pas su votre rôle you would be teaching as the chief of the education department at Samlot district. district. Would you agree with me on that? Vrai? No. Response. Réponse. You have stated, uh, and in your statement, you included uh, the Nick Dunlop. Uh, but uh, Nick Dunlop. I may have to explain to you que je vous the accounts of what happened now. I already indicated uh, to the chamber already that when Su made que Sue met in surrendered uh, and defected uh, to the government, my youngest brother wanted me to live with him in Swai Chek. So the Hans Paul Sumit and General Nyam Kung convened a meeting and that they convinced me to defect to the government, integrating into the community in some load, and they installed me as the chief of the education department at some load under the supervision of the government. While we were preparing for this, then Nick Dunlop approached me, and everything was compromised, and that is true. So you had no intention for handing yourself vous over to the authorities until you were confronted with your past acts. Do you agree? Pour être confronté à votre passé. Response. I may not have to say that I agree with uh, you, but I would like to elaborate uh, as Je follows. I already indicated to the chamber I think that none, no secret could be hidden forever. One day the secret can be compromised. In Ban Thiemin Che, I was uh, acknowledged. Uh, recruited as the school teacher, but in 1996, in March, uh, Ying Sari integrated uh, into the government, and I asked him to also accept me to join the government, uh, but Ying Sari didn't recognize me. Then I uh, asked uh, in favor for Sumit uh, so that I could be presented to the government. I sought or I found a channel to so that I could be uh, introduced to the government. That's why I asked uh, so that Cette I could uh, be uh, integrated, uh, then I actually I had no intention to escape uh, from uh, uh, being uh, joining the government. Uh, Just um, 
few questions about uh, your apologies. And in response to Judge Laverne's question the other day, you testified that in relation to the crimes at M13 and S21, you believed that the party centre would be responsible before the history. You testified that you told Peter Lauprecht the same when you were in the military court. However, when you met your two lawyers, and I assume that you're referring to the two lawyers here today, after my consultation with them, I agreed that this work was not a responsibility of the government because the government would not be responsible for criminal acts. And it was the individual who would be responsible for his own criminal act. But in my mind, I was still believing that I was a policeman who was carrying out the order assigned to me by my superior. And this is how I developed my mentality regarding the crime and criminal responsibility. My question is, is it fair to say that you've only accepted individual criminal responsibility or individual guilt since 2007, since you met your two lawyers, as you explained to the court? Response. I may have to reiterate uh, the account of the story based on the fact. Il faut sans doute que je refasse ici le récit de ce qui est arrivé sur la base des faits. Actual fact. Des faits réels. When I was assigned as the chief of the police. Quand j'ai été désigné chef de la police à M13, Chai Kum Ho told me that as the chief of M13, or M13 was not in charge of arresting people, and I was assured that I should not be worried because the party would be responsible. And I was reassured by him every now and then. However, when I noted uh, that Mais more and more people were being arrested, and I also made it clear with uh, Peter Le Pritch, et, uh, and I believe Peter that uh, Peter Le Pritch also recorded aussi, uh, uh, the interview, although I did not notice any camcorder uh, uh, that he si was brought with him. And I told him that the CPK government was the legitimate le government in the eye of the United Nations. And if I did not follow the government, uh, si then I would be executed. So uh, what had I done wrong Donc, to uh, obey or uh, to uh, follow suit the order of the government. But then les uh, people Après cela, told me that uh, this government uh, was the criminal government and as part of the government I shall be uh, individually responsible for the crimes I committed uh, alongside uh, with the government uh, acts. Thank you, Your Honours. I think my colleague has a few questions. Imputable au gouvernement. Merci. Le procureur, merci. Mon collègue souhaite poser quelques questions à son tour. Ce sera il. Co-prosecutor, good morning, Mr. Kang Kekio. Do you know that uh, in Lawn, alias Nat, was removed on March 1976? And do you know the reason why he was removed and where? Would he be sent et, to? Savez-vous où il a été alors envoyé? Response. Réponse. Thank you, Mr. Co-Prosecutor, for putting this question. Pour cette question. In Lawn, Elias Nat was removed on the écarté. third. Mr. Franz Koru interrupts. Uh, the President, Mr. Franz Koru, you may proceed. Je vous en prie. Monsieur le Président, je crois que nous posons normalement des questions sur le caractère de l'accusé. Je ne vois pas ce que cette question a à voir avec le caractère de l'accusé. Je voudrais que nous revenions à notre débat d'aujourd'hui. 
The president, uh, the objections sustained. Oui, so nous, the co-prosecutor, could you please reword your question so that uh, the questions are related to, to the matter of the character of the accused as scheduled in our today's session. Co-prosecutor, co thank you, Mr. Merci, President. Monsieur uh, the prosecutor noted that this question may lead to Je the follow-up question, so we would like to proceed ensuite. to the next question. Je passe donc à la question then, plus have you ever felt that uh, you were jealous? with in law alias Nat because you were the deputy to him at S21 and you already indicated to the chamber that you was the chief of the four call points network and that uh, Nat was the member of the team and at that coup, moment uh, Nat was uh, the Nat chairman uh, instead uh, and you was the deputy so was you que jail, were que you Nat en était membre aussi et que par ailleurs à S21 Nat était directeur et vous étiez directeur adjoint réponse honestly in law alias Nat uh, was older than I am non, franchement, and I, non, as you have already observed, moi, that uh, I already uh, paid homage to two people, que je respectais uh, and uh, Stephen Hessel and uh, Madame Mirkeit Sampoat, and I Madame respected them. Although in law was my subordinate uh, previously, but I did not really violate uh, the rights of him being promoted to the chairman. And when I was at the S21, and as the co-prosecutor in Cambodia have already been familiar that uh, the CPK Status uh, have been well uh, given to the military and les statuts du PCK été in Lon alias Nat, Sambat and Miss Mota were the three Mota important people uh, to be installed in the military, and I was not jealous. And during de, de the meeting of Moi, the branch, which was convened at uh, Office 505 in Biem Commune, I could see how important okay, their roles were, and I was not jealous at all. And uh, as I mentioned already, I was not satisfied uh, with the role at S21, and having had uh, in law as my superior, I was already happy. The prosecutor, after 1979, have you still been faithful uh, to Son Sen? The accused uh, 7 January or 7, the prosecutor 7 January of 1979. Respond. Thank you, Mr. Co-Prosecutor. It is the moment I really am oui. waiting to reveal the truth to the world and Cambodia. I was very shocked uh, when enemies implicated him. I was very worried for him. When I was called to meet in office um, 8, I was reassured that uh, I should forget the past, and I could see that uh, Son Sen had been still very faithful to me and been caring for me. That's why after the 25th of June 1986, uh, I still had a very great respect and faithfulness to him. The co-prosecutor, thank you, Mr. President. We do not have further questions to put to the accused.
The president uh, since it is an appropriate time to take an adjournment, uh, the chamber will take the adjournment for 20 minutes and resume accordingly. Something, Groucho.